Yes! This is the Weekly News Roundup here only at the Tokusatsu Network. And I'm your host, Squall Charlson, and do we have some fun pieces to talk about this week. Amazon Prime announced Season 2 of Kamen Rider Amazons! Yeah! The first season streamed on Amazon Prime Video in Japan last year as part of the 45th anniversary of Kamen Rider. As of now, the series has been a critical success, garnering over 405 star ratings and currently averaging a 4.3 out of 5. Kamen Rider Amazon Season 2 depicts a tale of two completely new Amazons. Kamen Rider Neo, a boy raised by Amazons, and Crow Amazon, a girl killed by Amazons, but revived as a biological weapon to fight them. In addition, many actors who played popular characters in Season 1 will return for the new series, such as Tom Fujita and Masashi Taniguchi as the previous season's writers. Kamen Rider Amazon Season 2 will begin on April 7th and run for 13 episodes with one new episode per week. I know I'm gonna get some flack for this, probably more than my pronunciation here on the show, but I, uh, I still haven't finished Season 1. Eh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Alright, moving on. Subaraya has filed a trademark for the newest Ultraman TV series, titled Ultraman Zed, which can be read as Jido, but will be rendered as Jid. Further details have yet to be revealed. And now, some news that means a whole lot to Squall. Shout Factory confirmed via press release that they will be releasing Digimon Adventure Tri Reunion in America. The Adventure Tri movie series serves as a direct sequel to the original set of Digimon shows, Digimon Adventure and Digimon Adventure 02, which was actually aired in the West as Digimon Digital Monsters Seasons 1 and 2, originally licensed by Saban. The upcoming collectible Blu-ray combo pack is priced to own at $24.97, while the DVD has a retail price of $14.97. Amazon is now taking pre-orders. Digimon has every right to win all of the awards. Just everyone, give it to a Digimon. Uh, just kind of like our good old buddy Godzilla. On Friday, March 3rd, the Japan Academy held their 40th annual awards ceremony celebrating excellence in Japanese film. The big winner of the night was Toho's Shin Godzilla, which ended up taking seven awards home that night. The film was a huge technical achievement, and the awards reflect that. Shin Godzilla and its crew ended up taking home awards for outstanding achievements in film editing, sound recording, lighting direction, art direction, and cinematography. Shin Godzilla also walked away with two of the night's biggest awards. Ano and Higuchi won Director of the Year, and the film ultimately earned Picture of the Year. Ooh, wow. Dang. That's like a pretty clean sweep. I need to see that when I can too. I'm so busy. <sighs> Let's take a look at this week's must-own items. Premium Bandai announced the release of the Galaxian Gashat, a transformation item used by Kamen Rider Brave in the upcoming Cho Superhero Tyson films. The Galaxian Gashat is based on the 1979 Namco arcade game Galaxian. The game followed with a very successful sequel in 1981. You might know it as Galaga. The DX Galaxian Gashat will be released in June for 1,620 yen. Kamen Rider X Super Sentai Cho Superhero Tyson releases nationwide in Japan this March 25th. Amidst the latest announcements for Kamen Rider Amazon Season 2, Premium Bandai announces the Neo Amazon's Driver, the new featured transformation device of the season. Season 2 will feature a new transformation device titled the Neo Amazon's Driver, used by Kamen Rider Amazon Neo and Kamen Rider Amazon Omega for a new form. More information and ordering will be available April 6th for the Neo Amazon's driver on Premium Bandai. Oh, might have to pick that driver up. Looks really sleek. I like sleek belts. What's next? Ah, next time on Superhero Time this weekend. The nine member team comes together in episode five of Uchu Sentai Q Ranger, the nine ultimate saviors. I was really hoping we would have a villainous orange for a while. You know, like at least 10 episodes. And then, Kurato is arrested for his involvement with the Bugster virus in episode 22 of Kamen Rider X-Aid, The Implanted History. 
Well, thanks for tuning in again to the best place on YouTube for all your weekly tokusatsu news. Be sure to check out these articles and more over on the website. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and all those other great things. And we will see you right here next week. <laughs> yeah, I finally got it in the mail. It's a little outdated now. I mean, it did take them a couple months to, to get it in and order it. But, oh, it's so nice. It's from the 4540 uh, concert series that they did with Kamen Rider. Um, it's just so cool. It's got all of the logos on the back. Ah, I don't know if you can, if you can see it.